Okay, it's a really quick run through just if you've been using Common Voice to record files in S3 and then you want to take those and get them downloaded locally and have them in a format that you can then train with deep speech. This is the basic overview of how you do that. So there's three stages. You first download them from AWS, then you import the files, so you basically convert them from MP3s to WAV files, and then you that same step also creates the CSV training files. And then the third step is pretty straightforward. It's just basically um, based on an existing script that uh, is with the deep speech project, and you just run that and it trains them. Um, so there you go. Uh, so the first step is basically in your in a folder you want to download the files into, you just use the AWS CLI um, uh, command, and it basically will just get them like this. So they always passed. I've got about 1,800 here. Um, I think you probably need more than that, to be honest, to get great results. Um, but you'll see they're being downloaded pretty quickly. And then if we just... List them. Yeah, we see. So yeah, I've got two folders here. I think it's a folder per profile. Um, I ended up accidentally recording some with a different profile. Uh, anyway, so and in there, if I do this, uh, like here, then you've got all your files there. So there's a mixture. They should pretty much be paired up: uh, a text file, which is the transcript, and the MP3, which is the obvious, the equivalent of the sound, the, the sound equivalent to that transcript. Uh, that's that bit. I'm just going to go to the uh, import section and do that now. Okay, and now I've moved to the um, another folder. My folder structure is not exactly the same here as it was in the instructions, but if uh, you just uh, don't religiously follow what I typed in, just use your equivalent folder structure. So I've got the import and the run file there. Um, I've got a data folder, which is empty at the moment. There you go. And um, I'm just gonna go through here. I've actually got to change this folder path because I messed it up slightly when I did the demo. So anyway, it's just gonna be straight into there. Uh, so it's basically you can copy all my files, which we downloaded earlier from here into the data one, um, converting them to uh, web files. And it will produce three um, CSV files as well. So that should go through here. Uh, so it's, running now I think it's converting all 1800 roughly of them I forget how long it takes um, okay there yeah that's it um, that's done so now if we check in the data folder you'll see there there's no corresponding text so it's gone fuzzy focus there you go uh, it's got no corresponding transcript files because you don't need them you just need the actual WAV files uh, and then you'll see at the bottom there is uh, focus again um, there's the training files so if we look at um, one of those um, what have I done uh, pause sorry so something went a bit wrong there um, I'm just going to open up the training file so yeah this is the standard kind of format uh i'm really having trouble focusing here okay the camera all right so yeah it's got the um it's a csv it's got three uh, columns in it in the header there you can see and it basically just has the folder paths and um the uh the um size of the file and then the actual text okay and then the final stage is basically just running the um uh, the actual training file. So this one, I think, as I understand it, you do need to run this one from within the deep speech folder. Uh, so I've done that and I'm just going to launch it now. I got rid of my old, I renamed my old exported model. Um, if you don't do that, then it crashes at the end. It's not the end of the world, but um, it will do that. I've also got some um, uh, some cached files. Um, I've forgotten the proper name for them, but uh, uh, so it's it's already got some processing that's been done uh, so it'll pick this up at certain a certain number of epochs in um, but here we go so uh, there you go so it just prints out all the standard stuff um, checkpoints that's what I was trying to say not not cached files and 
there so it starts this and i'm not going to film the rest of it because this will be quite slow uh, but this is running on my gpu and uh, so after a period of uh, waiting uh, you'll you'll get all the epoch results and every so often it prints out the um uh, the the test values so there you go hope that works and um yeah if uh, anyone has any improvements i mean there's loads of obvious things that could be done but uh, um you know do do uh, do reply to the thread uh, on the common voice uh, forum right thanks